Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and shits. Uh, I might as well give you a real intro because, uh, for some reason, Outlaws Merriment, which I'm sure you figured out uh, is this deck by the title, even though I probably called it Maximum Lisbo Tits or some shit. Um, it doesn't want to match me up. It doesn't have a clue what I'm supposed to be playing. And instead of just giving me anyone, it tries to figure out what's my optimal matchup before giving me just a complete mismatch dog shit. Like, you know, Whizbang's development team standards. So, what's the, what's the news this week? What's the news this week is? The friends, they couldn't do a friends list. It was too hard. It was too hard. Literally, developer intro pack style courses is fucking up Whizbang's. So, instead of uh, a friends list, we have to wait a couple of more weeks, months. I don't know. I don't know how it's taken... Two years for a friends list, but, you know, I'm pretty sure Magic the Gathering pussies don't have any friends. It looks like we got a game, though. Hold your pubes. After all that, after all that wait, ladies and shits, hopefully it's worth it. So what else happened? Mmm, two manes. I think you might have lips. Alright, three manes is, is fine. Stick conk... Stick race at the alarm in a bit. So, I like this deck a lot, ladies and slags. Outlaw's Merriment is pretty fun. Uh, it's... Oh, fuck off. You see? You see what I mean? That we've got to wait a minute and a half to be matched up against fucking Pro Tour Pussy Jizz Free Play Virgins. What can you do? What can, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do, lads? So, we'll play until there's a cat and then I'll just fuck it. Oh, Dr. Chinks, how do you know that this is against the uh, squibbly jibbles? You might be against jibbly jibbles, Dr. Chinks. You shouldn't be the squibble bibbly jib jibs. Shut your fucking pubes. So, I don't like the fucking thing. I might as well tap both of these. Because it gives me the least amount of things to do. Because I'm fucking dumb. Nobody likes playing against Witch's Oven. I don't know what's going on, but... You know. Rub your fucking dick. So what else happened this week, ladies and shits? It was Twitch Rivals. I think it was won by a magic professional. We're all super surprised about that one. But on the plus side, on the plus side, uh, Lisbeth Eden played a net deck. And, I mean, you, I think you got to see it, ladies and shits. I think you have to see what a complete shambles that video turned into and it made it got me thinking like it's it's the blight of all lazy merchant grade streamers i'm not criticizing elizabeth eden here before we get and who cares if i am like what a fuck but what i am saying ladies and shits is that multiple times during her game she would be watching it and then she would just say i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing and i thought that's just just so merchies the man never knows what he's supposed to be doing. He just sits there with his fucking fat man tits and then just hopes it all works out because his deck has been built by somebody else. And if you want to learn how Majiks works, that is the last fucking thing you should be doing. Rubbing your dick on someone else's pubes. So, I take the high ground. I built this deck. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Don't be dead by turn four. That's, you know, got a chance. And then, what's the follow-up? Divine visitation with Outlaw's Merriment is pretty, it's pretty game-ending. Am I going to get to that point? Is Wicked Wolf Paradise Druid waiting for Nessa to come along? Oh, Dr. Chick, everyone has to play Wicked Wolf Nessa Druid in every deck. Otherwise, how you'll be pro -tour with your pubes, Dr. Chick? You fucking dweeb! Hey, Dr. Chick, I went on holiday to the Baltic Islands, and now I learn how to do massive pubeloids all over my pubeloids. Hehehehe. <laughs> hey, Dr. Chick, you want to see my pubes? I have maximum pubes. Maximum pubes for you, Dr. Chick. I don't think I will need the dead chickies. All right, Wicked Wolf is not causing a lot of problems, so... 100% exile it because like I just said 
about Lesbo Edens, I can't give you I can't give you a categoric reason why you should rub your pubes. I will keep that as well because if I'm playing lots of weenies, the best thing to do is blow them all up. Reggies. So I think I've got all the pieces as long as the man doesn't uh, questing biff me, questing biff, whatever. As long as I don't get biffed, then I should be able to grind this out. Well, well, we're not doing any grindy biffs no more. So I don't really want to blow up the man's Garrick. Not Garrick. Yeah, I don't want to give him uh, unlimited five fives. So, and I'm taking the high ground. You fuck my dick. I don't think Abzan Green Ramp with Garrick is really a free play deck. You might have seen me play it 35 million times because it's fucking superb. That's it's my standard deck. Fuck it. It's to get I. Every video starts with me. I, I can't be phased game one, really. And then we're into game two, and it's mono reds. And then game three, and it's more net decks. And I'm just I'm just checking out. I am Dunstan checks into sh a fucking rehab. So, here's what we can do. Uh, while he keeps wanking. We are the apex predator. Um, I don't know how I'm... I have Conclave Tribunal, I suppose. So... In the long term, I can block some shit wolves and not let this go up to shit and hope that I get another tribunal for this and then deafening Clary and everyone's mum. Right? Until then, or I can I can draw one of my divine visitations and then fly over the top and give the man some pubes for dinner. <laughs> pubes for dinner. But until then... I think I'm just going to lose to a planeswalker, which, you know, that's unusual. We did it! Straight, straight away, you fucking dweebs. You fucking dweebs. <laughs> oh, man. Magics. Magics, eh? You fucking dweebs. So, let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four. All right, everyone's dying. Right, your max. Ah, oh, that's good, Scrimshaw. See, just stay calm, and you'll top deck the singular card that you need to escape this fucking bullshit. Shut up, you fucking big bitch. So, I'm still standing by. I don't think this is a free play deck. He probably doesn't have all the cards. But at the same time... Maybe I'm just complaining. I am quite the complainer. So. That's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want him to have anything good. Nah. That's fucking both shit. So. Uh, let me read this. Whenever it attacks or blocks. So it doesn't. It's just not going to get me much. We're going to smash him. Smash him. So, next turn, make a 1-1 one, one and do all this shit. Yeah, so going back, ladies and shits, if you remember where I was talking at the start of this video. Oh, he's got a ferocious pop, Dr. Jinx. It's clearly brew, wiki, muck shits. That might be true. Just calm your dicks. The thing whenever I watch streamers play, and the reason why I always suggest that you also rub your mum's tits when it comes to watching bad players, who, watching bad players is fine, but when they're simultaneously boring fucks who try and tell you how magic is played, maximum fucking pubes. Uh, it happens to me when I play net decks as well. I'll watch and I'll think, do I play it a fairy or do I hold a counter spell? I'm not sure which is the premium choice for any given situation. But then whenever you watch a pro, he will tell you, and I say he specifically, um, unless Melissa de Tora is around. Um, I could do this or this. This is the premium play, but I'm risking a blowout to X or Y if my opponent has these certain specific cards. 
If you're watching some bloke who's going, ah, well, these are the best cards. I'm just going to dump them and we'll see what happens. You're a fucking moron if you get your knob out for that kind of shit. Or you're just a moron. If you're watching me, you're already a moron. I mean, that's a given. But if you also watch idiots... And I'll take an argument. I'm also an idiot. But legally, I got some good shits. What does that mean? I don't know. So, what do you think? I think the deck's fine. I also wouldn't be surprised if it's not very unique. Because I saw somebody play Outlaw's Merriment against me before. Uh, in a similar... I think, he was, I think his was more aggressives. Whereas mine is just don't die and then instantly turn it around with massive enchantments. But then, you know, that's just me trying to pretend like... I'm not playing a prison deck. <laughs> like a bitch. We're playing Harry. Just flat Harry. Just no time for any bullshit names. Double merriment. A scry. And double blow up the weenies. I'm going to hold my dick that I drew a red land. Off of this thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-ohs. Hold those dicks. So if this guy... Okay, knights is good. As long as there's some red land. You fucking whore. Knights is good. Double clarion. They still all die if I draw a red land. Hold those people orbs. Oh, that's minimum people orbs. So, raise the alarm. Is good for this kind of ambushy block shits. But, um, it's... You don't want to give away that you have it. Alright, I'm... Um, Nearly dead. Nearly dead, fam. Nearly dead. You don't want to give away that you have them. Because uh, if you can flash in 4-4 angels late game, that is maximum pubes. Just need that red land. Just need that red land. Just need that red land. And it's still maximum pubes. Ugh, man. So, shocking him. What's this fucking virgin doing? What kind of a virgin pussy plays Outlaw's Merriment? Fucking jizz game. I uh, I mean, I am slightly amused that the game is like, well, Dr. Cheeks is playing Outlaw's Merriment, so the algorithm needs... Just rub my fucking dick all over my face. Fucking spunky balls. <laughs> so, that's... A, well, that's the end of my spells, really. Also... I, don't, I just don't think I could come back from this. 100% the game was in the bag if there was a red land. But that's what mulligans are for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to laugh at the, at the whiz bangerage of uh, being matched up against Outlaws Merriment um, Tribals. 100% the game was in the bag if there was any red. But, you know... What are you going to do? Three colours is hard. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So what actually happened on Twitch Rivals? Who the fuck gives a shit anymore? Like, I don't think... I think Pi I don't think... I think Pioneer is where it, the shit is. But here's something I've been thinking, ladies and plops. How the fuck are we going to be able to afford a full Pioneer back catalogue if you're not in Wizards' transsexual harem. Oh, why did you say transsexual, Dr. Chick? Because they're allowed to say... They're allowed to fucking orchestrate a bullying campaign and nothing happens. We all remember Fatty allegedly being mean to... I say allegedly, he was mean to Christine Spranks and doing uh, Pepe memes is what he says he did. A lifetime ban. A lifetime of no magiques for that man. Scri like, I don't want anybody to think, oh, she just scribbled on her lands. No, 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 no. The fact that she still used Therese Nielsen lands. The fact that the Therese Nielsen thing blew up like four months ago. And then she just try and restoke the flames. The fact Wizards didn't do anything about it either time. The second time was the nasty one. 
because it was just like well just, let's just all fucking pile on to this woman who's just sitting quietly in her house bullshit fucking bullshit so we got the red lane this time but castle vantress mono blue bullshit i mean i love but mono blue right mono blue is the most fun to play against let's not well i like i said videos always do the same thing start up here with a bright optimism of all the fun decks that we can play and then it goes when it's just net deck boring time wasting plops the previous guy, Knight's Merriment, I got no problem. It, yeah, I got no problem. Uh, it's a shame I didn't draw any lands for that game, but um, yeah, pubes, pubes, pube news. But how many more games before I fall off the edge? Yeah, so Wizards know, they know 100% that by doing all of that shit, it's not to stoke up uh trans rights awareness it's just to be mean about some uh, fucking other bitch so let's see i think you just have to start plopping tokens right so this gentleman needs a duress okay i think we're gonna squibble him he'll take divine visitation but we have another divine visitation and then we're just banging out angels how does this actually work reveals their hand you choose a card from it and then exile okay so he can cast it but i don't okay so he can cast this that is quite uh something but uh, he's only gonna get one shot with it which is good and then if i somehow manage to conclave my own conclave if i can do that then i'll get this back all right, we've got some interesting decisions. Do we? I mean, it's fucking straightforward. I just figured the whole thing out. <laughs> you fucking dweebs. So, two white, two black. We'll take one extra red after the fucking calamity of the last game. And then we'll just get to maximum pubes in. Right? Mm-hmm. That's fine. Pubes! Yeah, I keep... Obviously, you know how my videos go. So he can steal Divine Visitation and Conqu and Ethereals. Alright, if he's stealing that, I have to play this. Because then he can just exile one. Well, the man's deck's got cards you don't see every day. Maybe. I mean, I don't see cover to surge too often. Right? Is he, is he living his dream of Demir supremacies? Man! I hate playing a game where I am continually exposed to such pussies. Such unrelenting pussyism ladies and shits like there's just no way out of the of the shits there's just no way out of how much of a load of old balls your mum's muff is so cast this for six he could easily come back into this game i think i need to win with one or two angels there'll be three threes are there any creatures there are no creatures Whose turn is it? There are no creatures in the man's deck. So I just... Or mine either. So I just realized Ethereal Absolution cannot create any angels. So he just turns my angels into... Th oh, there's one. He's got one peep. Mm, yeah, he's got one peep. But that's all... Yeah, that's a, that's a point. You can't just pump out angels for four mana. You have to exile creatures. Okay, so this game is in a lock. I hope that this man doesn't take four and a half hours for every turn just because he's playing blue. Every turn is going to be like this until one of us run out of instant removal. And I presume it's going to be him before me. Hurry the fuck up, man. 
It's the same turn for the last three turns. It's fucking jizzy, smuck schmizzies. <laughs> you see? All magic videos, they start up here. I'm having some fun. We're already mid-range. Fucking time-wasting spunk bag. So drawing lands will be fine. Otherwise, I don't really have to do anything. I presume he's just got a fistful of counter spells. If he exiles my Dawn of Hope, then my lands also make creature tokens. So there's nothing to pull your pantaloons down for, except for the amount of time this guy's wasting. Jeez, what can you do? All right, let's 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 not throw the shits out. Let's not throw the shits out with the Virgin Waters. Tap that. Nope, nothing. For a minute, I thought he was going to tap it and then shit on his mum's ass. But uh, it doesn't seem like that is the plan. So, do I play into a counter spell? One, two, three. One, two, three. I think so. This doesn't go in his grave, by the way. So... Uh-huh, that's fine. So now Prison Realm exiles this anyway. So we don't get an Angel this turn. But I do get to scry, hopefully, into a land if we're talking about magic. <sighs> Raise the Alarm is probably excellent. So we'll actually keep that, even though it's not land. So, what's the man's plan? Just fuck it and goo cares. I'm going to play one more good game from the end, from the rest of this video. If it's the next game, then rub my ass. Thief of Virginis. Too late for the thief. Seems interesting. Oh, he's, yeah, his life total is not high. So, normally, if this was against anyone, I'd just start banging out spells. But if a guy has just wasted this much time trying to be controlling muck shit stains. I think we can really just just wait bef until we get maximum erections. Yeah, that's fine. So if you know he's got a counter spell, uh, like I say, the lands do the stuff. But we'll play the merriment now. That's a lot of inevitability, lads. That's a lot of inevitability, lads. Oh, my beebles. My beebles. Whatevers. Whatevers. Maximum fucking shavy muffs tits. <laughs> ah, what games have everyone been playing? November is ultimate release week. Star Wars turned out to be good. Death Stranding. I don't know. It's up to you. What else? Shenmue 3? Were you one of those peeps who pre-ordered the Shenmue jacket? Two th I think it was 10,000 squids. You could have dinner with you, Suzuki's. All good schmips. So all of my peeps have haste, so the man's dead, as far as I can see. He could draw... Oh, yeah, it's a Tyrant Scorn. Okay, okay. Oh, he didn't draw it, so... I don't really know what the fuck's going on. What am I doing? <laughs> now, before anybody says, Oh, cheek, you fucking mag, you could have just waited and won. I'm, now I'm drawing this game out because you can eat my pews. Anything else? Conclave Tribunal this? I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, so if I wanted to have won, just leave Liliana alone uh, and then make an angel and I have two three threes, he'd be on three life. But this way, it's just, it's more fun. See? We had so much, it was much more fun. You fucking dweebs. So, one land to save the game. Can he do it? He's looking at, he's trying to do some scries. 
Maybe it's draw a card or something. I don't know. So one more game, ladies and shits, and then, and then what? Pubes. So scry and then draw. There's just literally no way out of this jam. Yeah, but, but you know it's blue, so we have to do all the number wanks. Good. At least he went out in style. <laughs> Full uh, self sabotage. One more game. One more game. And then, and then what? So, I don't know. What other decks can I try? What other cards can I play? Because I'm sure you will have noticed. Uh, I can't keep up the pretense that magic is fun. It's fucking shit. But I am still addicted to playing this game all the time. Uh, and I'll take I'll take suggestions on what cards to try. They're not going to work. Hopefully, it'll just be a load of balls. And we'll get to see one combo one time in real time where I'm not editing all the shit out. Coca Dock. He's got a Coke on his dock. He's got a dock on his wang. Who knows? Lands are fine. Okay. This is, I think this is pubes. Right. We're all agreed. Has everybody just bought that sexy lance? I don't really want to play a Dimir Thought Erasure deck again. I'm not going to play because we just did this for far, far, far too long. Far too long. Uh, I don't want the same game twice in a row. Not that I don't think I could beat that deck. You saw I probably could. I, my life is too... Well, it's not too short. I don't want to do it. We just did it. So, what other decks exist in the world? So far... I would say I forgot I completely forgot what the first game was second game against Knights would have been fine if I had drawn a red land to sweep his peeps and then it would have been a merriment battle on the short term but then my merriments would have turned into angels and his would have still been one twos and shit so Esper, again, I just fucking said I don't want to play this bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Um... It does it does look a bit different. Because he's got a tongue bound lick. That might be because he doesn't have anything else. Or it might be because he's playing reanimate. If he's playing reanimate, we can we can join in. If it's just more Esper shit stains, I don't know. I don't know. So you can't let this attack you. I'm gonna hold raise the alarm for a divine visitation later on. So shit on this guy's dick. One more land and Divine Visitation should be... Okay. Right. Premium, hold your dicks. Okay. He obviously wants counter spells. Nope. Maybe he just shocked himself. He's doing the bad boy gamings. I uh, Maybe he's double bluffing. Maybe he thinks this is a fucking pro tour game. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to flash in, raise the alarm. I really need that. I need that land. Hold those pubes. Hold those pubes. Yeah, you didn't fucking hold your pubes. Fucking pubeless. Fucking pubeless. See, this is one of those situations where a really good player would be able to say to you, um... Uh, Yu, Ma Yu Ling is not uh, a good Conclave Tribunal target because it's not doing anything to you. I don't know. To me, I just don't like doing nothing. 
That's my personal magic style. I don't like doing nothing. Although we might have to do we might have to do nothing this turn. Just just dive into a counter spell. Fuck your mum. Fuck your mum. No counter spells. That means four squeebles. Four squeebles with no jeebles. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. What do you have for four squeebs with no jeeps? So I, I could give. I should have played Absolution there. There's zero chance that that wasn't a massive error. Yeah, if he doesn't play counters, I knew that he wouldn't counter that. He must play sweepers. Okay. He doesn't have all the cards, maybe. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. One more game. That wasn't good. That wasn't a great game. Let's play one more. So, in case anybody's thinking, I, I bottled out of that... To fairy game. I didn't want to play Demir, Esper, twice in a row. I ended up playing it twice in a row. I uh, we're not playing it this time, regardless. You fucking dweeps. So, but the way the algorithm seems to be working, I'll play a merriment deck <laughs> because because just giving you random matchups against people with even number of mythics or something that's fucking crazy although i would also complain if i played someone with four questing biffs it's really thinking there's got to be premium matchups man why is wizard such pussy why is it why am i exposed continually to liars charlatans two-faced bullshitters non-stop this is supposed to be a card game about dragons and still there are more known hidden rapists in magiques than is conscionable oh we didn't know todd stevens was squeezing tits we didn't know conley woods was a rapist we didn't know, uh, what's his name was a fucking asshole as well. Oh, in Turtle Beans. We didn't know that Team Nova boss was a fucking sex offender. That's, if you, that's super quiet. I mean, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I can yeah, understand. A, a, an esports NTG team, their boss was some kind of shit. Some kind of shit. I'm actually playing this this turn, um, because I, I didn't I didn't think I'll draw a land. <laughs> it's the reason. Uh, now I feel stupid, but that's fine. I can feel stupid all day. So we get to attack with a couple of one ones, which is definitely better than a couple of four four angels later. Rag gears, you dweebs! Oh fuck this game. Fucking jizz on my face. That was a big mistake. I meant to play Divine Visitation and I wasn't looking. Oh, fuck it. I've, I've lost concentration. Yeah, T Team Nova Esports boss fired for being a sex offender. Apparently, everybody on that team knew and we just kept it really quiet. But it's none of those players' fault. Although somebody did leave. We'll give that guy his credit. Somebody on that team did leave when he found out his boss was a sex pest. But what are you gonna do? If you watch Todd Stevens, you need to re—you just need to readjust your pubes. And that's it's a sad fact, but the fact that he doesn't have six viewers is embarrassing. I'd watch Alias V on a loop. I'd watch Alias V on a Mr. Beast 24-hour loop. Before I ever tuned in to Todd Stevens. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with these morons? I'm not answering the door. I don't know what's gone on, but my house just seems to be uh, ultra target practice for people who think, yeah, this guy is uh, flat. 
Hogwarts is 100% this huge office building next door. <laughs> Fucking jizz. So, uh, all right, I've, I can't play any more Magic. I think the I think the deck is all right. Um, I think the deck's all right. You can look at the deck list and all of that shit. Uh, give me some ideas. What shall I play tomorrow with cards and spells that we all enjoy looking at? Until next time. Fucking Gabby's muff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to answer this and I'll let you know what, what it was.